Hi there, welcome to the Building Your Tiny House Dream video tutorial series. I'm Chris, I run a company called Tiny Industrial, and along with the book of the same title, I'll be showing you how to build this exact house. So follow along, I'll be releasing a new video every Wednesday, and hit subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. So the next step here is to close in the sides. That's what we got the, uh, the two by 12s for. So we grab one of those. All right, we slide this into place. Now these are 12 footers and we only have a 10 foot trailer here. Drop that in place. Okay, so right away, you can see there's a bit of a problem here. And that this top edge is not flush with this angle iron. What you really want is you want, that is not completely flush. That's about mm, like a half inch lower than the top edge. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to raise this up so that we have one flush wood metal thing here because what's going to happen is the next 2x12 is going to go on top of this and come out this way. So if we don't have that flush then this can't sit on there properly and therefore uh, yeah it's not ideal. So what do we have to do? We have to lift this thing to a point where it sits flush. So we're going to add something underneath here and then we're going to create this nice flush surface. The way that we're going to do that is most likely we're going to send something through the, um, maybe a pressure treated one of these for some scraps through it, create whatever the distance is, probably about a half inch. I'm going to do that on the table saw. And then that's going to go underneath here and everything's going to be hunky dory. Don't crush my water here. Got the table saw set up to make the initial cut. I set it right here to five eighths and we're going to send um, that piece of pressure treated through there to cut one and a half basically by five eighths thick piece that's going to go under that end. Now on this end it gets a little bit trickier because you have this lip here. So that actually raises the board. So since the board is gonna end on the lip, this board is gonna end on here, you actually need to cover this distance as well. So that actually comes up to closer to an inch. So we're gonna cut this end just a hair short of an inch. So what's gonna happen is one 5 eighths cut and then one inch thick cut. And then we're gonna put it on there again and see where we're at. That 5 8 piece lying right there was actually pretty darn good except it's it's a hair thin so we're still not really hitting the top of the uh, angle iron so we're gonna cut it just a just a touch thicker maybe three quarters I'm gonna try a three-quarter piece and see how that works out that's under there and then this is actually pretty good now we've got a pretty level there that's pretty close uh, let's check it up front yeah when you push down on it a little bit up front here yeah that's that's good it's definitely good up front I feel like we're a touch too high in the back so we may have to come down a little bit back there. Uh, what I could do is shave off a little bit of what we just cut. And yeah, that should take care of it. I'm still getting this weird wobble in the board. So I realized when I flipped the thing over that this thing was still on there. So that doesn't help. So make sure that any of these clampy things or whatever are gone. 
But now we've got a nice flush surface here. It's pretty much there. That runs the entire length of it. Closes in the sides, as you can see. This runs back behind the wheel wells here. And that's all gonna get sealed up and taken care of. Um, one thing we are gonna do is we are gonna move this back an inch and a half. That way, the one that closes up the front runs this way. Now, why do we do that? Because when you're driving, all the rain, wind, everything's coming this direction, and it's easier for it to get through something that's in the, in the line of, of, of travel, versus if you go this way, then you have the gap here, the front two by 12 and the, this side one, and therefore you're sealing this up so you're not getting that, that air pressure and all those things and, and you're just creating a better seal. It's just, just the best practice really. All right, so we're back. So we've created a bit of a space here for the front ply. And then this board touches up against that point. And then we were talking about cutting these down. So therefore this piece has to go, but we have to do it in such a manner that the plywood will sit on this rail back a little bit. We have to sort of mimic that all the way across. So we said that, you know, the back of this equals sort of where the outside of the ply has to sit. Then we have to go back roughly three quarters of an inch thickness of the plywood. And that takes you to right here where I've already marked this board to be cut. We're gonna do the same exact thing for the other side over there. And then we're gonna cut these down and that will do it. I've decided actually not to paint these black. It's going to be stained with a sealant and I've gone with a, what they call slate gray, semi-transparent sealant. So we'll see what that winds up looking like. Bit of an adventure, but. So anyway, I'm going to cut this board down, do the same thing over there, and then we'll be ready to stain these, these pieces All right, so we're all cut down here on the ends and next, yeah, we're just gonna um, apply the, the stained sealant to these. And then it gets exciting because then we gotta do the, uh, the front piece because that's gonna be on the exterior and that's gonna need to be stained as well because it's gonna be facing out that way. So we'll do that. Once we get that piece in, you know, probably have to clamp it or something like that. That's when we'll figure out where and how these are going to get mounted. Yeah, and then we, we go on from there to put the, uh, the ones on top of here. Anyway, it's a, it's a, it's a cool process and uh, yeah, let's stain these things. That didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to. That right there is what it looks like. That's supposed to be semi-transparent. Now, that to me is like barely grayed, but this is just kind of how it goes sometimes, you know? Like not everything in this build is gonna be perfect. Not everything's gonna turn out exactly how you want it. You just gotta kind of roll with it and expect that the aggregate will look awesome. Anyway, the side pieces are next. What I wanted to mention is what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna make sure that there's no writing or blemishes that are gonna show up on this board uh, because it's gonna be facing the outside, right? So if there is sort of writing or something stamped on there, you might wanna sand that off before you put the stain on. Just wanted to mention that. 